What's going on YouTubers, Jackknife Finnegan subscribers and or Finnegan, how are you guys doing today? Uh, yes, it is another cooking tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's going to be good. We're going to be using the air fryer for our main ingredient, which I'll show you that in a minute. But we are going to be making fish tacos, you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy uh, this meal. Hopefully you guys make it. These tacos are amazing. I'm going to show you guys the secret sauce. Because once you have that sauce, you'll never go back, I promise. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love it. Um, if you guys could do me a favor, hit that like button. I would appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, smack that subscribe button. If you got any comments down below or you decide to make this meal, let me know in the comments down below. I will truly appreciate that. Now, with that being said, I'm going to show you the weapons of choice that we're going to use today. All right, you guys. These are going to be the items that we are going to use to make fish tacos. You're going to need... Hellman's Real Mayonnaise, not that Miracle Whip shit. Get Hellman's Real Mayonnaise. You're also going to need to get a pound or a pound and a half of cod. Depending on how many people you're going to be feeding, make sure you get a pound or a pound and a half of cod. That is the fish of choice when making fish tacos. You can also use Pollock or Pollock. And you can also use Cod, Pollock, and flounder so here you go you're gonna need classic coleslaw which is uh it gives you your cabbage so if you don't want to dice up cabbage all day this is the cheap way of doing it these are only like 70 cents i bought two of them you also want to get fresh pico de gallo you also need flour tortillas ricas family pack not that big they're little you know they're little ricas you know what i mean you're going to need olive oil. You're also going to need panko breadcrumbs. That's what we're going to use to roll our cod in to give us that, give us that nice crispy texture. You're going to need sour cream. And the other ingredient, you guys, is this. La Castina Chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. I'm going to show you guys what you do with this here in a minute. This is part of the secret sauce, you guys. So with that being said, let's get underway and let's start making this meal. I can't wait. So right now, you guys, what I'm doing is I'm getting my batter ready for my fish. Um, I took nature seasoning and I added a healthy mix in here. And I took Himalayan sea salt, put that in here. And I also put paprika in here, paprika. And then what you do is when you put it on there, it all goes on the top. So what you do is you get a fork and you massage it in there. Hopefully, you know, it goes down to the bottom or... You know, as you can tell, if you look at it, you know, it's a little, it has a little tinge of uh, red to it because that's the paprika. Um, and you can also tell when you pick up a spoonful here, you see you got, you know, you got your salt, your pepper, some paprika. You got a little bit of everything in there. That's when you know you mixed it really good. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my batter ready on the other bowl. I'm going to put uh, eggs in there and some buttermilk. And we're going to mix that around so then we'll have our mixing stations ready. So right now this is the batter. This is the panko breadcrumbs, nature seasons, Himalayan sea salt, paprika, all mixed up. So here's my other mixing bowl. Um, as you can tell I got three eggs in here, uh, about a splash of buttermilk, and about a splash of milk. And then what you do is you poke in the egg yolk in the center, and then that's how you break it up, and you keep going until you don't see no more egg yolk, really, and it's all become all becomes one. So that is the goal right now. That's what we're doing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our fish, we're going to soak it in here, put it in the panko crumbs, and then those will be coated and ready to go, and then we'll cook those in a little bit. But this is how you get both of your uh, mixing bowls ready. And then we're going to go from there, you guys. So there you go. That looks a little bit better. I'm going to make it a little bit more fine-tuned. But that is the start of getting your mixing bowls ready. All right, you guys. Now what we're going to do is we got our mixing stations done. We're going to open it up. We're going to get our cod. Look at this cod, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my cod. No, I'm just kidding. That was a terrible joke. Uh, that's what we call a dad joke. So this is nice, good quality cod. I'm going to start cutting it up into little uh, fillets that we can put in 
and uh, turn this into essentially like fish sticks type stuff. So then we could crumble it up and put it in our uh, fish tacos. So, you know, what you want to do is you want to cut it like, you know, like so, like that. You know, make it a little, you know, kind of, kind of chunky, kind of like that, kind of like that, you know, kind of cut it up a little bit like that. So this one is a little kind of too fat, so I'm going to cut it down the middle like that. So then we have like kind of a, a slimmer like this, see? I used a pound and a half because I'm going to be feeding four of us. Uh, depending on how many people you have in your family, you might want to, you might want to use, you know, a pound. If you got four people like I do, maybe a pound and a half. Always make sure to wash your hands when handling uh, poultry, fish, any type of raw uh, protein. Always wash your hands, you guys. Look at this. My God, I got a lot of cod. Holy shit. Jesus. Got a lot of cod right here, guys. And the reason why we use uh, cod, you guys, or flounder or pollock, is because it's a fish that is easy to tear apart. That's why you use that. It's easy to tear apart, you guys. See how that is? Easy. All right, you guys, what we're going to do is we're going to dip up our stuff here and we're going to put it into the air fryer. So what we're going to do is we're going to marinate it in the egg, move it around in there. Then we're going to put it in the panko mix and swish that around in there real good. So you want to get a good covering on your panko mix. Now we're going to use this in the air fryer so we shouldn't be losing a lot of stuff. So there you go. It's covered. Then we're going to put it in there. And then so on and so forth. Rinse and repeat. Make sure everything gets covered. Run it around in the panko. Mix it around real good. Put it in there. Until all your fish pieces are gone. So you're going to want to keep doing this over and over again. Covering it all completely in the panko mix that you made from earlier. And then what we're going to do from here, once we're done doing this, we're going to make the secret sauce. So if you guys do not want to miss the secret sauce, the secret sauce is going to be amazing, you guys. Um, also, you guys, if you don't have panko crumbs, you can actually use flour as well. Uh, some, some people prefer flour. So you can use the same um, seasoning that I use, but just use flour. You know what I mean? If you don't want to use the panko crumbs. So you can substitute that for flour. And it's the same situation, same thing I'm doing. Now if you do not have an air fryer and you want to make this, you can easily do the same thing, make it the way I'm making it. But if you do, make sure you double dip in the egg yolk. So take your fish, dip it in here, dip it in here, dip it in here, dip it in here. If you're going to use conventional oil. If you're going to use conventional oil or peanut oil or whatever, make sure you use, you double dip it. But uh, since I'm using an air fryer, we're not going to be, we shouldn't lose anything, uh, any of this uh, breading. But I guess we'll find out. This is my first time making them in the air fryer, so we'll find out. All right, you guys, I just got done coating. I still got a lot more fish left. But this is how much I'm going to put in the air fryer because I don't want to overcrowd it and I don't want to get it messed up. So we're going to have to put this in the heating bowl once we're done so the uh, the fish doesn't get, you know, cold or whatever. So this is about as much as I put in there. Now let's go put it in the air fryer. So you guys, I just put it into the air fryer. There it is. It's in the air fryer. 
Now what we do is we turn on the air fryer. We go to, uh, we see the fish icon. So go, do you see the fish? There's the fish icon right there at 350 degrees. You got to cook them at 12 minutes. Actually, it says flip them at halfway. So what I'm going to do is cook them at 12 minutes. And then when six minutes is done, it should start up automatically. So you got the fish icon. It's at 350 degrees. It's going for 12 minutes. So when it hits six minutes, you take them out, you flip them, and then you put it back in for the other six minutes. All right, you guys, as you can tell, it hit six minutes. We're going to automatically pull this out. We're going to flip them and put them back in for the other six minutes. So there, so there you go. They're already been in there six minutes. They look pretty damn good. All right, you guys, it's been 12 minutes on the fish in there. We're going to check it out. There's the fish as it came out. Looks really good. Uh, it's all crispy. It's all, you know, brown. It's good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a warming pot. And then I'm going to put more fish in here until all my fish is gone. And um, that's about it. All right, you guys, here's our second batch of sitting in the air fryer. I'm just going to take them out and put them in the, um, so right here is where our warming plate is. It has a lid. You don't need nothing fancy really for your uh, warming plate. All you just need to make sure it has is a lid. So mine is a nice um, glass Notice how it's all, you know, you, you kind of want it for fish tacos to break apart. Now, if you were making this into, like, fish sticks, you wouldn't want it breaking apart, but it holds pretty damn solid. It's pretty good. One thing I do like about the air fryer, though, is nothing sticks to it. It literally all comes up. So you don't have to sit there and scrape it, any of that type of stuff. It all comes up. Like, look at this little piece right here. See how it all just freely moves around? And then you got this one right here. And I'm going to put one more batch in, you guys. This is the warm, pretty much this is my warming right here, the warming plate. You got this. You put the lid on. Boom, it stays nice and it stays heated. And uh, it's good to go. Now I'm going to put my next batch in of fish. And we should be good to go. That's three batches of fish I've made. And then we're going to make the secret sauce and it'll be time to eat. So... There you go. All right, you guys, we're going to work on the sauce. What we're going to need for our sauce is we're going to need our Hellman's. Now, I'm going to use half of the Hellman's. So just spoon it out. You can use as much as you like. The recipe says half a cup, but uh, if you're going to be making this for four people, you're going to want to use half the Hellman's. Uh, if you're using this for two people, use half a cup. Also, guys, don't forget, you're going to need a metal whisk to whisk this all up. Take our sour cream. Put about half the sour cream in there as well. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, my God, this does not look good. But trust me, you guys, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be the best sauce you've ever made in your life. Okay, there's half the sour cream. Now, here is what makes the sauce amazing, you guys. The... Chipotle adobo sauce. This is where it gets really good. And with this sauce, you guys, I'm only going to pull out a couple of these chilies. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them. So right there, I'm going to do that. Get the slap chop. Put them all in the hole there. Slap chop them to a fine grade until it looks like like this, and then we're gonna scoop it in there. Scoop it in there, and I'm gonna get a couple more chilies. So I'm gonna use about half of the can or uh, peppers, I should say. I'm gonna get half. I'm gonna use about half the can, you guys. Okay. And 
And then also, you guys, you get um, a lime. So all you do is you cut your lime in half, and you squeeze the juice out. You get all that lime goodness. So you squeeze it all out. Take the other half, squeeze it out. So squeeze out your lime completely. Squeeze out your lime completely, you guys. Also keep your other lime here so you can use it for the fish tacos when you're done. So you can use it as a, a dressing. And then what you do is you take it and you mix it all together with your whisk. So you whisk it until, I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. Just whisk the hell out of it. Alright you guys, now this is what it looks like when it's all mixed up. It's a little tinge of red, but this is what it looks like right here. And this is the best sauce you'll ever have in your life, you guys, I promise. You put this on your fish tacos, you'll be loving life. Trust me, this is amazing. This is a sauce. Now all we got to do, you guys, is take our fish Put it in our uh, rikas, put this in there with some cabbage, and um, we're good to go. We're ready to eat. So that is how you make fish tacos, you guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate that. If you guys got any comments, leave them down below. Let me know if you guys made it, if you're going to make it, um, so on and so forth. If you got comments, leave them down below. I'd greatly appreciate that. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, you guys. Come hang out with me. We'll have a good time. With that being said, I'm going to eat these fish tacos. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'll see you guys on YouTube. Peace.